which never ever gets spoken about. I did a I did a 45 minute video on this on my channel last week. And all I did was read out the hearing and the actual proper witness statements that were at Cass. And if, if I'm allowed to, Chris, can I just read you one major point of course. the Cass case? Okay. Now, this is in the people, this is another thing, by the way, people don't realize. People don't realize that Cass was not a six line article, it was a 93 page document. But you never hear about the 93 page document because that doesn't suit the narrative that goes down the road. The 93 page document talks about the emails, talks about the time barred, talks about um, the third party ownership, third party sponsorship, etc. Talks about Simon Pierce, talks about all sorts of different things. Now, this is page seven. This was the conclusion of Cass. Um, and I can even read you the part in the emails because I know pe people will talk about that at some stage yeah. you know, this was cast which is a court of arbitration of sport the highest court of sport in the land in view of all the above there is no doubt that etty had fully complied with its payment obligations towards mcfc and mcfc rendered the contractual agreed services to etty had in return the majority of the panel finds that etty had sponsorship agreements are presumed to be negotiated at a fair value and that MCFC, HHSM and ADUG, which is Abu Dhabi United Group and Etihad are considered not to be related parties. The Etihad sponsorship agreements were legally binding contracts. There is no evidence that agreements were backdated or that MCFC otherwise retrospectively tried to cover up any alleged violations following the publications of the leaked emails. They weren't leaked, they were hacks, but they did go into, they did use the emails. The leaked emails discuss an arrangement, whereas Etihad sponsorship contributions would be funded or procured by the funded by HHSM, which is his royal Sheikh Mansour, and Abu Dhabi United Group, the participation of his uh, highness, Sheikh Mansour, and Abu Dhabi United Group, and Etihad is a pre- pre resequit from the arrangement to be executed by such participation has to be established. Mr. Pierce may have tried to implement the arrangements discussed, but in the view of the majority of the panel, there is no evidence on file establishing that any of this ever went ahead. Based on the evidence in front of us, the particular, the witness statements, which was from the chief exec at Etihad, A. Doug. Also, by the way, I'll get onto the Deloitte and um, KPMG as well in a moment, which are massive, some of the biggest um, auditors in the world. Um, so, where was it? Based on the evidence in front of the particular witness statements, where again, the panel notes were not before the adjudicated chamber, the letters issued by Etihad executives and the accounting evidence proved by Manchester City Football Club, the majority of the panel is not comfortably satisfied that the arrangements discussed in the emails were in fact ever executed. There is not sufficient evidence on file to establish the arrangements were actually ever made. And then it just gives you a little breakdown of where Etsy had, it was nine payments to Manchester City Football Club and that's all they can show. And they even do talk about other things. They even talk about the payments that was in that YouTube stuff. It was very, very... Um, weird the, the 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 spiegel situation people need to realize some of that was forged by um Rui pinto which is actually serving a th he was given a four-year suspended pr prison sentence in a portuguese prison for espionage and blackmail wow and was known to be a fought by was known to be a person who forged documents made emails up and doctored major documents and then would bribe someone for a million pound give me a million quid or i'm gonna release this information that was all proven in a portuguese court and he was sentenced so i thought he was given a four-year suspended sentence and his lawyer mentioned this last week when he came out with that i've got new i've got new evidence he was told in that in that court Give all your information over now. You hold any of it back, 
and you come out later, you're withholding evidence, you're going straight into prison. Yeah. Uh let me let me, let me welcome the mighty win. Uh, he's uh he's oh, he's up with me on the NUFC Talk TV, but he's following this case very, very closely because obviously, well, essentially I think every most Newcastle United fans want you guys to win. Um oh, but um one thing here because that like the going back to the a company like an owner created another company to benefit this particular company sounds horrific but let, let me let me let me bring it to america in the united states i know a multi-million dollar company cabinetry you know they make cabinets multi-million dollar company that um what they do is they have plants that are i mean just miles and miles and miles of of, of buildings and plants and um they if they they, they own they, they those buildings are theirs but if they keep it under their name owning the company as well they would have to pay an, 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 an amazing amount of taxes per year so what they do is they create another company that owns those buildings and essentially the primary company just pays rent to that company Does that make sense uh so th so the taxes are less so i could correlate the two together here um they're similar in my opinion but that's not illegal here in america at least that's not illegal that's just a tax shortcut um but in football it seems like if uh abu dhabi had has a club football club and they went to for say uh buy a man city player that for 30 40 million dollars maybe that's what the player is valued at nothing more nothing less it would be it would be seen as uh, the worst sin on earth uh in the eyes of other clubs top six include and not obviously with the exception of of man city do you disagree or agree that is that is that right in your eyes